the prehistoric era. Imagine living in a world without hospitals, medicine, or even a safe roof over your head. In the prehistoric era before 3000 BCE, life was harsh and unpredictable. The most common causes of death were accidents, trauma, and infections. Hunting mammoths or deer wasn't just dangerous, it was deadly. One slip of a spear, one misstep on rocky terrain could mean a fatal injury. Violence was another constant threat. Tribes competed for resources, leading to frequent clashes where wounds often became lethal. And for women, childbirth was a risky venture. Without Without skilled medical care, complications during delivery were often fatal. Even minor injuries could turn deadly. A small cut could become infected, and without antibiotics, the body's defenses were often overwhelmed. Everyday infections from food, water, or animal bites were silent killers, striking people down far too young. Despite these dangers, prehistoric humans were resilient. They learned to band together, develop tools, and care for the injured as best they could. But life was fragile, and death often came suddenly, from the wild, from conflict, or from invisible microbes that we now easily easily treat. Ancient Civilizations As humanity moved from small tribes into powerful ancient civilizations like Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, and Rome, life became more organized and more crowded. People now lived in large cities, traded goods, built farms, and developed incredible technology. But these advancements came with a deadly downside, infectious diseases. With so many people living close together and sanitation still far from clean, illness spread quickly. Dirty water carried dysentery, causing severe diarrhea and dehydration. Mosquitoes thriving near river valleys spread malaria, a devastating disease that struck again and again. Even food could turn dangerous with spoiled grains or contaminated livestock spreading sickness through entire communities. Doctors existed, but medical knowledge was limited. They didn't understand germs, so treatments were often guesswork. Some relied on herbs, rituals, or prayers. Others believed illness was punishment from the gods. Unfortunately, none of these beliefs stopped disease from spreading. Trade and travel, the very things that made these civilizations thrive, also helped diseases move further and and faster than ever before. A single sick traveler could unknowingly carry infection from one region to another, leaving outbreaks in their wake. Yet humanity continued to grow. Ancient people learned to build aqueducts, bathhouses, and sewer systems, slowly improving public health. Still, for most of this era, invisible enemies like parasites and bacteria were the biggest killers of all. The Middle Ages. The Middle Ages were a time of castles, knights, and growing kingdoms, but also one of the deadliest eras in human history. Diseases didn't just threaten individuals, they they reshaped entire societies. The most infamous killer of all was the Black Death. In the mid-14th century, the bubonic plague swept across Europe like a dark shadow. Spread by fleas living on rats, the plague caused fever, painful swelling, and death often within just a few days. Streets filled with abandoned carts, churches overflowed with bodies, and fear ruled every town. By the time the outbreak slowed, up to half of Europe's population had vanished. It was a disaster unlike anything the world had ever seen. But the Black Death wasn't the only threat. Smallpox, leprosy, and recurring waves of plague erupted again and again, striking communities with little warning. Medical knowledge was still limited. No one understood bacteria or viruses. Many believed disease came from bad air was a punishment from God. Treatments were often based on superstition or guesswork, meaning survival depended more on luck than medicine. Living conditions made things worse. Towns were crowded, streets were dirty, and animals often lived inside homes. With poor sanitation and no proper waste systems, germs spread rapidly. Trade routes helped cities grow, but they also carried deadly pathogens from one region to another. Despite the darkness, people adapted. Quarantine was invented, hospitals slowly improved, and cities began to prioritize cleaner environments. These changes planted early seeds of modern public health. Yet for most of the Middle Ages, disease was the silent ruler. Enlightenment. The Enlightenment era brought new ideas, discovery, and dramatic change. Science was rising, technology improving, and people were challenging old beliefs about how the world worked. But even as knowledge grew, death still lurked in familiar and frightening forms. One of the most devastating killers of this era was smallpox. This highly contagious virus spread rapidly through growing cities and newly connected continents. It scarred survivors for life, and for many, especially especially children, it was fatal. Armies, sailors, and explorers carried smallpox with them, turning global trade and colonization into pathways of disease. Other epidemics continued to strike. Typhus, tuberculosis, and recurring plague outbreaks still claimed millions. Cities were busier and dirtier than ever, with waste in the streets and limited access to clean water. Though science was advancing, everyday public health had not yet caught up. 
This era also saw relentless war. From European power struggles to global colonization, armies marched across continents. Battles, gunpowder, and new weaponry caused massive casualties, but disease often killed more soldiers than the fight itself. In crowded camps with poor sanitation, infection spread faster than any bullet. Yet, amid the chaos, breakthroughs emerged. Doctors began questioning old medical traditions. The first vaccines appeared, most famously Edward Jenner's smallpox vaccine in 1796, a discovery that would save countless lives. People finally started understanding that disease could be prevented, not just feared. The Industrial Revolution The Industrial Revolution transformed the world. Steam engines roared, factories rose, and cities expanded at lightning speed. For the first time, millions left farms to work in crowded urban centers, but behind the smoke and innovation lay new and deadly causes of death. In the early 1800s, infectious diseases still ruled. Rapid urbanization meant poor sanitation, contaminated water, and cramped living spaces. Outbreaks of cholera, tuberculosis, and influenza swept through industrial cities, killing thousands. The air was thick with coal smoke and clean water was a luxury. Life expectancy in some cities dropped to under 30 years. Then came the hazards of the new working world. Factory accidents, mine collapses, and toxic fumes claimed countless lives. There were no safety regulations and children often worked alongside adults in dangerous conditions. Injuries were common and medical care was still limited. Yet, amid the hardship, humanity began to fight back. The mid to late 1800s saw massive Massive breakthroughs. Scientists like Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch discovered germs and developed vaccines. Public health laws, sewer systems, and clean water projects began transforming city life. Slowly, sanitation improved and infectious disease rates fell. But as the 20th century arrived, new threats emerged. Two world wars brought mass casualties on a global scale, not only from battle but from hunger, injury, and the 1918 Spanish flu, which killed tens of millions more than the war itself. Modern era. In today's world, humans are living longer than ever before. Medical science has conquered many of the deadly infections that once wiped out entire generations. Vaccines, antibiotics, and advanced healthcare have extended our lifespans, but they've also revealed a new enemy, one that grows quietly within us, cardiovascular disease. Unlike the plagues or epidemics of the past, these diseases aren't caused by bacteria or viruses. They're the result of how we live. Heart disease and stroke are now the leading causes of death worldwide. They don't strike suddenly like the Black Death or smallpox. They develop slowly over years of choices and habits. Modern life has made us more comfortable but also more sedentary. Many people spend hours sitting at desks, in cars, or in front of screens. Processed foods high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats have replaced the fresh diets of past generations. Add smoking, stress, and aging populations, and the result is a silent epidemic of heart and blood vessel disease. Yet, there is hope. Unlike the infections of earlier eras, cardiovascular diseases can often be prevented. Regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and medical care can dramatically lower risk. Science continues to advance, offering better treatments, surgeries, and awareness campaigns to keep hearts healthy. The modern era reminds us that even as science reaches new heights, health is still deeply personal. The biggest threat to human life today doesn't come from outside forces, but from within, from the choices we make each day. And just as humanity once conquered infection and famine, we now face the challenge of conquering ourselves. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching.